now with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. It's raining, so maybe we should just all take a drive and get away from the rain. Road trip up to the mountains. It's cooler. <laughs> it's beautiful up there. Got to love uh, the Smokies, right? And if you haven't been to Dollywood, really check it out. I've been there a couple of times. Right now, though, here at Tuscaloosa, ugh, a lot of rain across campus and down here. Pretty good downpours coming on in. Could see some gusty winds near 40 miles per hour. It's 73 now in Tuscaloosa. How about that? Winds are gusting to 21 at the airport there. Dew point in the 60s, and that's from that downpour coming right through Tuscaloosa to the south Mountainville, Brenton, the 90s, same for Alabaster, Birmingham, 91, 90, Asheville, 82 and Coleman, a little cooler up there, which is good for rock the south, but nonetheless, you can see the pretty hefty thunderstorm coming through Tuscaloosa, also back in across there, a Bibb County as well, kind of zooming, zeroing in on that storm here in Tuscaloosa. It does have some pretty good downpours with it, so we are going to see maybe some small hail kind of tied in with that as well, too, as it works its way around 59.20 here, heading its way eventually toward Coling area and back toward Van. Uh, going ahead and putting a little stop on this for you and giving it a track. It is moving here, not fairly fast, about 25 miles per hour here off to the east. So uh, with that in mind, we are looking at it getting over toward the Mercedes Benz plant there right around 453. Belcher's around 454 over toward, uh, say, West Blockton around 507 and McCulley there around 512. So we'll continue tracking this one as it works through Tuscaloosa and into Bibb counties here. Also tracking some showers and storms south of Birmingham. Some of these are starting to rain themselves out. Not lasting very long, but into Chelsea area, northern part of Shelby County, getting some pretty good downpours as they continue to move through. A little more rain near Sylacauga now, popping up. A little thunderstorm just developing here in the last, say, 20 minutes. And that's really the trend for us. Up at Coleman, sunshine, great weather out there now, which is good for Rock the South. Could have some thunderstorms through the evening hours, so we'll be watching out for that today. And then tomorrow, a little better chance for storms, especially Friday night and into late Saturday. So the uh, earlier concerts may be better than the latter part of ones, all thanks to this front moving through, tapping into the deep tropical moisture. Upper level waves will be riding along this front as it stalls over us the next couple of days, keeping that chance for rain 80% tomorrow, 70 to 60% all the way through next Thursday. So very wet weather pattern in store for us. You'll see those showers and storms continuing to pop up here. Clap of thunder just now. And you can see here looking at some good downpours from Carrollton to Moundville around 7 o'clock. Moving into Birmingham Metro 9, 10 o'clock this evening. Back over toward the Clanton area. Tapers off over overnight to a couple of showers heading on into the day on Friday. Look at this heavy rain coming through during the afternoon hours on Friday through much of central Alabama, including up in Coleman, where they'll get the rain during the evening hours. Tapers off by 10 o'clock on Friday and there's some clouds to start your Saturday. But guess what? More showers and storms on tap for Saturday and the stormy weather will continue into the upcoming weekend. Good thing is we're getting some very much needed rain, two, four, maybe even five inches of rain in spots here over the next seven days. There is a flash flood risk out there, potential low for tomorrow and also into Saturday, really into Sunday as well. So I have to start watching those streams and creeks. The new drought monitor came out. We desperately need some rain here. We now have extreme drought across part of Walker, Marion County, back to Fed into Lamar counties. Uh, they can see that's close to the top of the scale. Severe th drought there as well as into parts of the Gadsden area, moderate in Birmingham, back to the south, and it would take for us to get rid of the drought in one month's time, about 12 inches of rain. We're going to put a dent in this over the next seven days, but not quite enough to get rid of the drought. The only benefit of the rain is look at the temperatures. Not bad, staying in the 80s and heat index not quite to 100 over the next seven days. Unfortunately, it does mean some wet weather for the weekend. Again, won't be a complete washout. Parts of the days will be dry and hot before we get those storms developing all the way through Thursday. Carly?